Well, the sky putting on quite a show last night. No matter what direction you travel to, you probably got to see the northern lights. And thanks to you, our KDKA viewers, we got to see the view of the northern lights from all around our area. Let's start in Allegheny County. Sandy shared these photos from her backyard in South Fayette Township. Wow, look how pink that is. And All Sean, right. here's another one. Sean sent in this view of the Northern Lights in Munhall, pink as well. Yeah, even brighter. This cool shot in Westmoreland County from Larry. This is the view in Hempfield Township. Michael, you can see the stars in the pink there too. That is gorgeous. And it gets even better. Here's a few more from uh, photos from Heather in Indiana County. In Absolutely beautiful there. And then Julie says she snapped these images in Butler. This is in Butler County around 10 20 last night. Each one looks a little bit different. It's cool. Love the green mixed in there. Lisa from Beaver County sent these in from those photos from Beaver. More bluish a little bit on this side of it, but it continues to just look fantastic. Yeah, and then this is some more good colors from Washington County. Patty took these pictures in New Eagle. It just shows you can see it all over the area and the rare sighting really raising the question. Why are we able to see the northern lights here now? Erica Stanish met with the National Weather Service Pittsburgh team and she joins us now with the answer. Hey, Erica. Yeah, hey guys, the National Weather Service says a lot of different factors have to come together and last night the recipe was just right. The sky lit up in reds, pinks, greens and blues as the northern lights dazzled across Pennsylvania skies Thursday night. I didn't think that it would be this vibrant or bright and it really is. We're taking pictures out here and they are amazing. It's a site many hope to check off their bucket list, but always believe they may have to travel far to see them. I never thought in my wildest dreams we would see it here in Deer Lakes. Like I thought I would have to go travel and pay thousands of dollars to see this and now it's in our backyard. So why can we see them here now? The National Weather Service says right now we're in an active solar cycle, something that happens every 11 years. The solar cycle that we're in now ends in 2030, but the peak is next year in 2025. So we're hitting that peak of the solar cycle Hence, we're able to see the northern lights and see more solar storms now than we had in years past. Fred McMullen says last night we had a G4 solar storm out of a scale of one to five. And being at the higher end means the lights are more visible to see and it determines what colors we see. The shapes that we see with the northern lights, the streaks, the swirls, it's all a relationship in terms of how that superheated plasma from the sun interacts with the nitrogen and oxygen atoms of the earth. Many sent KDKA photos showing reds and pinks, and in some areas, even blues, greens, and purples. McMullen says in order to really see the northern lights, it's all about looking through a camera lens. Take long exposure shots to really kind of see all like the, the streaks, the lines, the swirls potentially, and all the different colors that could be associated with the northern lights. If you want to see the northern lights next time, make sure you get away from any bright lights like street lights or city lights. Once you're in the dark, use your phone in night mode or with a long exposure and then enjoy the show. Now, the best part about this is if you missed it last night, there's going to be plenty of other opportunities to get to see them again. The solar cycle goes until 2030 and next year, the National Weather Service says we'll be hitting the peak of that solar cycle, meaning those lights could be even brighter next year.